This is Tech Gears, my name is Levi, and today we have another bag review for you. And this is probably one of the most universal, do-everything bags you can possibly get. Now, with that as a lot of compromise, it doesn't mean it does anything great, but we're looking at the Peak Design Travel Bag. All right, so the Peak Design Travel Bag was launched in 2018, so we're coming up on four years. I've had this for about two years, so I have some decent experience with it. It's also one of the bags that I've lent out to uh, three different family members for different trips they've been going on, as well as me using it not only for myself, but for me and my wife as far as packing together when we went on some trips. So we can kind of take a look here. Right now, this is in... I think it's 30 liter mode. All right, so you can see how it's buttoned back, has a nice slant to it, and it's it's not too bad. This is one of those things I lent it to my mom, and out of all the bags I have, she was like, oh yeah, I like that one. It doesn't look too big. And she had the same response when she came back from her trip that I had as my trip, and uh, my son, my cousin, anyone who's used it is, once you use this bag where you really start to expand it and put a lot of stuff in it, it just loses a lot of its capability. And the core feature of a bag is how does it hold your stuff? How does it protect it, of course? But how comfortable is it that you can actually wear it and use it and you, you're okay putting it on it and going on trips and whatever it is? So if it's not comfortable, that's a huge hit on this bag. So. First thing that comes in, this looks cool. As far as the way the angle comes in, these straps, or this little button here, literally, you can kind of see right on top, it, it pops out really easily. If you have anything that's a little bit heavier, this is automatically gonna pop out. So this is really what the bag looks like where it's, it's quite a bit chunkier. So that takes you from 30 to 35 liters. And if we actually unzip these, that's gonna take it to that full 45 liter max. So it is really cool how this goes from a 30 to a 35 to a 45 liter bag. That being said, I have quite a few other travel bags at 26 liters, 30, 35 liters, and at different portions, they are bigger and more usable. So don't let the literage confuse you as far as how big this bag is and how much you can pack it. Now, the second aspect I talk about was the straps and or just the carrying not being that comfortable. So I'm actually gonna lay this down. I want you guys to see how smooth this is. When it's everything's folded away, it actually is really great for like car travel. You can pick this up, throw it in your back, and it's just this nice, clean, elegant bag with no straps that does make it very easy. Now, uh, Tortuga does that, the bag I have, and there's a couple other bags. Uh, the Pack Travel bag does that. So the fact you can just pull them away is not unique anymore. Maybe three years ago, four years ago it was, but it is a very nice feature. And how it does it is really unique as well with those magnetic strips and the ease of use. Now, any other bag that has a hideaway feature for the straps, whether removable, folding, nothing does it as fast. So I will give it that, the fact that you can literally tuck these in. I'm done. I didn't even put a countdown on that, five seconds. The cool part is, is if you give it to someone older, younger, it doesn't matter, it's easy to figure out. So let's take these straps out, and I want you guys to see I guess how thin these really are. Now, if you look at this, I guess the strap thickness, the strap cushion, a lot of that doesn't determine how comfortable a bag is. I've worn bags with really thick straps that are not that comfortable, really thin, that maybe are. So you really have to wear it and use it. You have to load it out, and you're really gonna be the judge when you get back from your trip to be like, oh man, that, that bag did a great job. It's also something that's very personal. So you may wear this bag, and if you're not as big as me, or if you're smaller, if you're stronger, it may be more or less comfortable. But for me, and literally my family, so I've had three other families from four of us, once it's loaded out and you started the packing stuff, so for like my mom and her trip, she came back with more stuff as she loaded it out. Coming back, she hated wearing it. And all of her friends she went on the trip with were like, why are you wearing that big backpack? 
And when she went there, it was collapsed in, and she had a lot less in it, and it was it was okay. It was something she enjoyed. But again, once you load it out, it's just not that comfortable. So let's take a look at the front load, and the way this thing loads is a little bit more unique as well. You have most that are just gonna open bucket style uh, for uh, packing. I love the pack backpack where it opens almost like suitcase style. This actually has two halves to it and it's really customizable. So I'm sure a lot of Peak Design owners, if you do own this bag or if you're seeing it and you're like, hey, I know what to do with it, you're able to do some really nice customizations and really make it your own. So first you have this front half and this front half is I do a lot more with packing cubes. So I have my gravel toiletry bag that fits really nicely in here, but this has a pocket on the bottom, a pocket on the top that I do like to use as like a second quick access. You can kind of see here, it's a nice, easy to see rubbery material. You have two on the back that I almost never use. You can kind of see here, they're not big enough to put any other pouches in, they're more organized, so it really is more of just a dump space. So I don't get as much use of the front as maybe I could, maybe I should. So a lot of you may see this and be like, yeah, that that's okay, I like to use that. This front space does remind me a lot of something like the GORUCK GR2, where you have your front space and then you have your back compartment. So this is not uncommon. It's just how do you pack and how do you use it? What's more comfortable for you? Now, the cool thing about the Peak Design uh, ecosystem is the fact that it does come, or you're able to order their packing cubes, their uh, wash pouch, that's what that was, their tech pouch. And all of these are big enough in a way where you can just visibly tell there's no way this is fitting in the front, right? This has to be packed in the back. So you really do have to get a whole different packing method than what Peak Design is recommending. Same thing if you wanted to use their packing cubes, they're not really meant to fit in this front compartment. You would have to get other packing cubes, which I actually have. So let's open the back here. Before we get to that, this does have a couple quick access pockets, but none of them are that large. You have one right on top here that's just really quick, something you can put your phone or sunglasses. It's not that big, as well as you have these two hidden pockets on the side that admittedly I have never used, but my son has, my mom, my family members have been like, oh yeah, let me get my stuff out of there. Because it is a hidden quick pocket you can access as far as where you put your water bottle, your tripod, and then you put your quick access there. So this does have two easy to use water bottle pockets. That is something I really enjoy. But let's jump to the back. Now this does open clamshell style in the back. So let's give it a full open. And you can see how I have it loaded out here. I have a camera cube on the bottom. This camera cube is actually from a Shimoda. I found the Peak Design camera cubes have a lot of extra padding. And I guess they're made to be used more on their own. And they just took up so much space. So I, I didn't really enjoy it. Ended up getting uh, the medium. I got their small one, which just didn't work for the equipment I had. And again, it might work perfect for you. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, as far as those packing cubes, I really enjoyed this one by Wandered. This is their, I believe their medium size packing cube. It does expand, you're able to compress it. So this is a compressing packing cube. I keep some clothes in here. Now if I were going on a bigger trip, I would need a bigger packing cube. That wouldn't really work, but that would work for like a weekend. This does have your typical laptop compartment. That does have an iPad sleeve in the back of that. And then you have a, just a tech pouch, which I use the Peak Design. This is their smaller field pouch. And this one is okay. I don't like it as much as some of my other tech pack, uh, cubes. The one that this is meant to be used for is this giant guy. And you can see this still fits. You can kind of see how everything is really nicely in here. But again, if I wanted to include my wash bag, I do have the gravel one in the front. But then if I wanted to use the Peak Design wash bag, you can kind of look in here there's no room. So you're either bringing less camera equipment, which again, very doable. Maybe you should, depending on what kind of trip you're going on. Uh, and if you're bringing less camera equipment, what are you doing? You have room for more clothes. Do you still have room for your tech pouch and or your wash pouch or you're getting different pouches from different companies? So 
the way this situates for me just wasn't quite as comfortable. Now, a cool thing that this bag has, and it's one of the also the other reasons why I use the Shimoda, is this does have, let me see if I can open it here, side access. And the Shimoda also has side access here. So it is kind of cool. I can set this up to quickly grab whatever I need and use this effectively. Which is why when I started this video, I said this was a great versatile bag for everything. Or it's a good universal bag. But it doesn't do anything great. If you wanted a dedicated, dedicated camera bag, the Shimoda, I think, does a way better job and, and just works with their whole ecosystem. Um, as far as just using a different camera cube in different bags, you can just grab a camera cube. I've been leaning more towards the small camera cube from uh, Wandered, or I use one from Boundary Supply, and you can use that in any other bag. So even though this does have its ecosystem where you can use that side access, it's cool in theory. You know, you can grab stuff right here and you can kind of see what you want to do. But it is something where you start to find what's more usable for you. What do you enjoy? I found I don't really like side access. And it's more to do with, I guess maybe I forget if it's in the left or right hand side. I know it's in there. So I open it up. I have to flip it around. This is messed up. Okay, now it's on this side. And for me, it's just cumbersome. I'd rather just open the bag and have a big bucket space or an organized bucket space. Something like the Shimoda where I almost have like shelves or the pack where it opens up wide. Uh, it's something that just worked better for me personally. Now, the Peak Design, if you're using it as a travel bag, that's great. If you're using it as a camera bag, you're able to use it maybe as a day bag, but it is really big. If you guys saw my Evergoods video, Evergoods has their travel bag, their CTB35. It feels way bigger than this. I feel has way more usable space for how I pack it. And I just found it way more comfortable. Now I have had more comfortable bags in the CTB, but it doesn't become, I don't wanna say painful or it doesn't become uncomfortable anyway. This, at least for me, really does. This just becomes an uncomfortable bag to wear for extended period of times under load. So keep those in mind. If you're not going on a longer walk, if you are only putting this in your car, you know, to the airport, you know, you're walking to your Uber, you know, to the hotel where it's not on you for a tremendous amount of time, or you pack lighter, maybe I pack too much, and this is all personal preference, especially when you start having camera gear, things just get heavier. Um, and that depends what you bring and what kind of trip you're going on, how much gear you have. Uh, but I love the versatility of this bag. And it's one of those bags because of the materials where it's not this rough, rigid material. It doesn't feel plasticky or crinkly like something like on Wandered. Um, it just feels so well engineered. The materials are amazing all over. When my son took it on his trip, he actually had the lash straps on top here, uh, putting it on for his gloves, as well as he had lash straps on the bottom where he had a sleeping bag here. So this was something he was able to go on some long walks where he had everything latched onto it. He was using his water bottle on the side and he had this thing packed out with not only his clothes, uh, but his games, his uh, equipment, whatever he needed. And it was awesome to see him take this and it just adapt so well. And then he tried to put it on his back and he was like, dad, this is, I don't know if I can wear this. And I had to put the waist straps on it and it helped. He came back and he was like, I, I'm not bringing that bag again. <laughs> So I laughed because obviously I don't think it's that painful. He He's younger, obviously. Um, but the same thing with all my family members and the same thing I got. It's really good, but you're going to find a better day bag. I think you're going to find a better, better camera bag or travel bag. But that's three different bags. And what I wanted to give a shout out to Peak Design for is even though this is a $300 bag, it is generally on their eBay site, and I'll put links below, where you can get this for about $200. And for $200, to get yourself a camera bag, and mind you, you would have to get a camera cube or something to set that up, to get yourself a, a travel bag, and maybe you would need some additional straps to lash things on if you needed that. Or if you're just gonna use it as a straight day bag and keep this buttoned up and kind of streamlined, it can do it. 
you don't have to waste your money on a lot of different bags. It is very adaptable. Um, I think if I had to and was it had to force myself to take the time and figure out, okay, what works best, I can absolutely make this bag work for pretty much anything I would do. But uh, thankfully, I do have quite a few other bags and I'm able to find what works best for me depending what I want to do. And for my camera bag, I, I love the Shimoda. For my day-to-day -day bag and if I'm having weekend trips, the Evergood ones is fantastic. And I have a few other bags I'm going to be doing comparisons to. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think this is good for, what do you enjoy, or what do you want to see this compared to. But if you would just wanted to buy one bag for everything, including your everyday and your travel and your camera gear, you can't really do better than this. And the only thing this does not do well is if you're going to use this as a gym bag or some kind of workout bag with whatever equipment you might put in here. Um, your Go Ruck works really well with that for just a gym bag, your boundary supply, having a place for your shoes, having something that fits a little more tightly. Um, this I don't think will work great for as a gym bag. And obviously this is overly expensive if that's all you're concerned about. But I do want to break it down on who might like it, who is going to hate it. But guys, I hope this video really helped you out if you were considering buying it, what it's going to do well, uh, what it's bad for, and what you can expect. Now, the whole ecosystem for Peak Design, even though they have their tech pouch and wash pouch, I really think these are gonna be made more for families. It's so big, I'm able to carry all of our toiletry uh, gear for my entire family of four. For the tech equipment, same thing. I'm able to carry all the chargers for multiple iPads, iPhones, laptops, everything in this, and it's really big. I don't think it's great for just one person travel. You can go with much smaller tech pouches from a variety of companies, and I would love to go over what tech pouches I use and, and what would suit you best. Uh, for my wash pouch, uh, for that I bring with me daily, I've actually switched to just this AER Slim Bag. And it's been great. This is really small and it makes a big difference versus even something as big as the gravel. And it's funny, this is the gravel slim. They do have their gravel small or tiny. It's on Kickstarter now. But honestly, it reminds me a lot of the AER. So maybe I'll get that, but this has done a great job for me. I like that this split pouch actually becomes bigger. So it's a great compliment where if I need more space, I have this guy that's thinner. If it's just me, that's all I need. And if I'm bringing my family, boom. So I do have quite a few wash pouches. That goes to show you, you may be having to buy some additional things to make this work ideally for your use. Guys, girls, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And I'll give it a thumbs up as it really helps YouTube get the video around. This is Levi with Tech Ears. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll come at you later.